Hi, this is Amber from amber-oliver.com, DIY and home blog. Today I'm going to show you how to take an image, cut the silhouette from that image, and then actually use a silhouette cutting machine to remove that image. So your first thing is to find a photograph. Um, this can be the one I'm doing is of a dog. Um, you can use a family member or just basically anyone you want to do silhouettes of. Um, it actually be really cute too, like your whole family. Um, but the one today is a friend of mine, their dog. So what we're going to do is do, we want to take this image and just cut around the edges of it so that we'll turn it into a plain black and white image and just cut the outline of this dog. So I'm going to first make it fit on the screen. Okay. So the best type of image to use is one that has a high contrast. You want, um, this is actually not the best image because see how she's white and the background is white. The best would be if it was a person, someone wearing a white shirt in front of a dark background, um, something like that, but we can make this work. So after you've got your photo opened, you're gonna first create two different layers, um, one for each, the black and one for the white. So over here, I'm gonna create a new layer Create a new layer. First one black. Second one white. And since the photo is actually the background image, the, that's the first place we're going to work. Um, so the first tool we're going to use is called the magic wand. Sorry, I am using a much smaller view, so it looks a little different to me today. So the magic wand here. Um, by selecting that, we're first going to change the tolerance. Now, the tolerance, this tool can be a little tricky, um, so it helps to understand what, what it's actually trying to do. Um, the magic wand is basically just selecting pixels based on tone and color. Um, so that can get a little frustrating, especially when your photo looks like mine and you've got white on white, that sort of thing. Um, so you may end up with some selections that go outside of where you intend them to, um, and that's easily fixed. We can kind of clean that up later. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is set the tolerance to 10. I set it kind of low because, like I said, the white on white. If your image was higher contrast, you probably probably you wouldn't have to do that, but um, for me, I've got it set pretty low. So um, starting in the middle, I just like to click um, to select bigger areas, and you'll see it starts lining up around the outside, and then just keep clicking, and this basically adds to your selection. So how that went outside, that's all right, because we're going to fix that here in just a few minutes. Same with that. Maybe a better way to do this, but this is what I found. It works for me. So I figured I would share it with you all here today. Okay. So, to clean up, the next tool we'll use is the lasso tool. That one's easy to find because it looks like a lasso. <laughs> up at the top, you just want to make sure you're set to um, the, so there's four different sections here. You just want to make sure you're removing from the selection. This is the subtract from the selection option. So basically what you're doing, you just draw around the area you want to remove, and you actually want to get it as close as you can to the edge of the whatever it is you're cutting out. So let me show you. Basically, we want to remove all this extra that went off. So you draw it around, you just stop dancing. Go ahead and draw it up as close as you can, trace around the space. There's several up here that went out where it wasn't supposed to. Then you can just loop it all the way back around, back to where you started. And it's actually going to drag all of that section in. See how it cleaned it up nicely? Now we can follow it around to see where else it didn't cover. So starting here, we're going to trace down around the back. I'm going to cut that a little wide, but that's all right. And then loop it back up. So that too is going to just kind of clean it up. So um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can get it nice and tight here. And it's a silhouette. It doesn't have to be perfect. 
It's also a dog, so not a big deal. But this will clean that up nicely and give us a tighter line there. So, once you have your selection, you're just going to copy that. And we're going to paste it onto the black layer. So, control C for cut or copy. It's actually copy, it's not cut. Oh, and actually I see where I missed something real quick. Let's go ahead and clean up in here. I'll draw that in a little bit better. Okay, so I'm going to copy that and then switch over to the black layer. I like to turn off this layer so I can actually see and fill this in. So the next step is using the color fill, the paint bucket. I'm using black, but when you go into the silhouette, it actually doesn't matter what color it is. Um, actually, I'm on green. Let's just use green. That's start filling it in and so most of these colors are actually working just fine um, there's nothing that's gone off but see how over here it's not connected all the way so if I were to fill in right there it might try to fill in outside so what I do is I switch to the pen tool brush tool excuse me make sure my edge is pretty small you don't want it too big but I can actually go in with that and then I'm the wrong one. Let's see. Background. Come on over. So drawing in here to just kind of close any of these gaps. Again, this is a dog. It doesn't have to be super specific, um, and you'll get the idea. So I'm just going to park your paint tool and see if, oops, so that wasn't closed in, clearly, so I'm going to undo that. Uh, I'm not sure if that's closed in either. Okay. Got a few more sections to fill in then. So let's switch back to the pen. Brush. I'm sorry, I keep pulling the pen. And let's actually increase the size. That might help us out a little bit. It's actually all it's going to be so in, so it doesn't matter which tool we use. And I'm getting a little close on the edges, so I'm just going to lower that so it's not quite as big. I'm give her fat feet. Let's see if I can switch back now. Big. So let's change that down. 
hold it on the line. So we can actually zoom in here and just make sure we're filling in all of these little, ooh, too big, all of these pieces. It's not a big deal because again, it's going to cut it out. Oops, I'm getting a little too quick. I'm going to lower that side here. When I did this with the picture of my poodle, it was a little different, very, very much not straight edges because he has curly hair. So this part right here may look a little weird, but it's not a big deal if it's not perfectly straight. Fill that in, make it look smooth. The main thing is that all of the edges are one line because that's what the silhouette uses to cut. So you want to make sure it doesn't have to do extra work. Thinking out now. That looks like a dog. What do you guys think? Good point of ear here. Eleven. All right, I've cleaned up all of these spots. You can fill in the white or just leave it blank. I like to fill it in just because it looks a little nicer. And let's move that black one, which in our case is actually green, but close enough. And there you have it. So the previous image you saw on the background. And you cut it off for the wet. Like I said, may not be the quickest way, but this is the way I know how to do it, and it works for me, so I hope it works for you. Um, I'd love to know what projects you do. If you'd like to do it along with, like I said, you can use your child's silhouette, you can use your one of your family, or your dog, like I did. Um, these are pretty easy. It's been about 15 minutes, and we've got this done. Actual cutting on the silhouette machine takes less than a minute, so you can basically have a framed um, photograph. I'm going to give this as a gift um, in about 15 minutes, so I'd love to know what you think. Please leave me a comment, and have a great day.